it's all all in there nice. Let's go ahead and move the shock shaft up and down and you should uh, freely move. There should be a lot of resistance to it as you go up and down. I'm going to push it all the way down and let go and it should not pop back up. A lot of times it'll actually sink back down about halfway. Last step here is to go ahead and tighten up the bottom cap. We're going to remove our napkin, wipe up any mess that we have going on here, and we are going to grab our orange wheel wrench one more time, and we're going to slide all this stuff through this wonderful wheel wrench. You know what? Yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to go ahead and slide all this stuff through the wheel wrench and there is a, a place in there where it, it catches. And we'll use our multi-tool and we're just going to snug it down. Don't over tighten it. it. Takes a little while to work this on and off with the with the boot. You don't want to tear the boot. Okay. And I don't see any reason why we can't do this now. It is in the next step, but I'm just going to go ahead and put the boot back on. I'm going to go ahead and secure it from the bottom. Then go ahead and secure it on the top. Just like so. Let's go ahead and repeat the process. I did have an issue with the threads and I'm not sure if it's on this or that one. So I'm going to pre-thread this one before we fill it up. Seem to be having a little issue with it here. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's going to go all the way down just fine. You might want to just pre-check yours before you fill them with fluid to find out if there's any issues with the threads. Okay, one more time. We're going to fill this up to the fill line, which is just below the threads. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and use my napkin on here. Start to thread it down. This is another way to do it, just thread it a little bit and push a little bit. Thread it and push until you're almost all the way down. Go ahead and give it the last little bit. Watch your gasket as you tighten it up. You should be set. Goes back down in about halfway. Go ahead and wipe this up. and tighten it. These boots are a pain but you have to put them on before you build the shocks otherwise there's no other way to get them on. They're still attached on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and reattach this on the top and then uh, we're going to shut the camera off and we're just going to clean up all of our shock fluid mess here so it doesn't uh, get all over everything during the rest of our build. And I do suggest that um, you wipe this stuff down. You can use a little bit of uh, denatured alcohol or whatever, but try to get as much of the shock oil off of the outside as possible. Um, as you're running, it likes to collect dust. 
Okay, we'll be right back and we're going to go ahead and finish up the build on the shocks. For the last portion, we're going to go ahead and install our springs and the spring retainers. Go ahead and grab your manual and we want to adjust the spring retainers to approximately 10 millimeters. If you take a look at your manual, there's a one-to-one -one drawing on here that's going to show you exactly how far it should be. So go ahead and um, make sure that they're adjusted properly. This is something you'll do later and it's uh, not that important, but you do want to come close. That'll adjust the ride height on your, on your Baja. Let's go ahead and grab a spring. Let's slide it over. Let's turn it upside down. We need to get a spring retainer and the pointy end is going to go towards the bottom of the shock and sometimes it's easier just to put this on a table and press down and there's a C portion that's going to slide over the shaft and you have to work it around the boot as well and then you're going to pull up and that will set it against the edge just like so. Make sure that you're properly seated with your spring on the top and on the bottom. Now we have a completed shock absorber. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Let's go ahead and put the spring on. Pull the spring down. Go ahead and slip the retainer around the boot and pull up on it to seat it and then let go of the spring make sure it's properly seated on the top and the bottom okay we've just completed page number 53 of the HPI Baja SS manual you will have a few leftover parts uh, they are there should be two more wipers and two of the three hole pistons I'm gonna go ahead and put those together and I believe that the parts on here are not going to be used in this particular build. They're left over from the ready to run. You may want to save the plastic pieces in case, um, actually, the only things that you really want to save off of here are the spring retainers. And these work on the rear shocks. Let's go ahead and take those off and um, put them in our tray and save them for later in case we need them.